Are you a part of the Twitch DJ program? Do you use virtual DJ? Do you like following the terms of service? This is very niche. This video is very niche. I know. I get it. I get it. But for those who do, well, you're in luck, my homies, because I just came up with a semi-automatic way to keep you from playing music that is on the restricted artist list. Now to find this list, you need to enroll into the Twitch DJ program. Once you do, just head over to the DJ tab, restricted artist list, list is right here, and it gives you a list of all the artists that you are not allowed to play, that they're kind of guaranteeing you will get a copyright strike. So what I have done is I've compiled this list, it's about 108 artists at the moment. And I'm using a tool called StreamerBot. Do you know about StreamerBot? Have you heard about StreamerBot? If you haven't heard about StreamerBot yet, go to my homie Nutty's, yes, Nutty, YouTube channel. If you're a streamer, you know about Nutty, okay? Watch this video. It's going to be in the description of this video. And it's kind of like the starter pack. He goes over the basic usage of StreamerBot. I'm not going to get into that level. We're going to elevate it to the next level. And it's specifically for... DJs who want to use the follow the terms of service and who use virtual DJ. So I am integrating streamer bot with virtual DJs network control plugin. Now in order to have access to the network control plugin, you need to have a license. I'm sorry all you freebies out there. This this one you need you need to you need to pay up. Pay the piper baby, pay the piper. So inside of virtual DJ, I'm going to show you how to get that going first. First off, you're going to go over to the little cog wheel in the top right. Click on that. You're going to go to extensions. You're going to go to effects. I believe it's somewhere in here. We type in network and there it is, network control. And then all you're going to do is click install. This allows you to speak to virtual DJ from anything over a local HTTP request. Really, really handy. Now, I have taken the liberty to craft three different little items that work with each other inside a streamer bot. I'm going to show you what they are. But, 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 I made everything downloadable for you. You just go to djlefave.com and then enter the feature products. We got the virtual DJ streamer bot, terms of service, Twitch interactive incorporated widget. We're calling it widgets. It's, it's really just code inside of streamer bot, but widgets seems to stick. So first I'm going to show you this in action and then I'm going to show you kind of how it works. And then I'm going to show you how to, how to install it. Okay. So let's go into virtual DJ. And I'm going to, I, I know off the bat, right? They say you cannot play Ed Sheeran. You can, Ed Sheeran is, is not allowed. Can't play Ed Sheeran. Not, not approved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. I'm going to load it onto this deck and I'm going to hit play. Now, if everything works accordingly, StreamerBot is going to recognize that Ed Sheeran is on the banned list. Do not play this. Restricted artist. It's going to pause the deck and it's going to remove the song. We're going to hit play. And bam. It said, nope, you can't do that. Who else is on this list? Jay-Z is on this list. So we're going to take Jay-Z and we're going to put, uh, we'll put, uh, I just want to love you. Just put, I, I want to love you right now. You don't have to love me. Just like me. Just hit the like button. Just hit the like button and leave a comment. That's all you got to do. Here we go. Play. And it's going to recognize Jay-Z. And it's gone. It's gone. It's, it's a five second interval. And it saves you. It saves you from anything that is on that restricted artist list. It's pretty cool. Now you could have it do a bunch of other different things in here. Anything that a virtual DJ script could do or that streamer.bot could do, whether it's messing with your OBS scenes or whatever you want, it can do it. All right. And you could see it do it during my live streams on twitch.tv slash DJ LaFave where we just have some fun with music. I don't ever know. It's going to mix. It's going to be radio style. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be music, baby. It's what we do over there. So make sure you follow. Link in the description. But LaFave, how does this magic work? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. I'm going to show you how this magic works, all right? In step, I numbered them, okay? I numbered them right here. The first thing that we have to do is we're going to get the artist, and I also grab the title information at the same time because that's dandy to do. To do this, I set up a timer up top. So this is a timed action, a timer that I created, and it's, it's polling every five seconds. So every five seconds, it is sending off this fetch URL. Now we learned on the website for network control that this is the website, this is the the URL that you need to do a query inside of Virtual DJ. So what we're doing is we're querying and we're running a script and we said on the active deck, get the title. It's gonna get the title and it's gonna save it as a variable name I hear called song title. Okay. Now the next one is gonna be to get the artist. And the reason why I'm getting the title and the artist is because I have some overlays inside of OBS that I am then using these variables to plug and play into my OBS to also let people know what they're doing. If somebody's in the chat, they can just do exclamation point song and it will tell them the now playing song for their own viewing pleasure. They know exactly what's going on. 
So this right here is now getting it, right? And then I'm setting the global variable of now playing artist to the song artist. This is making this a new global variable so that when you go into variables, you're going to notice that it's not on my screen. It's on my screen. There we go. You're going to see right here that the now playing artist right now is an error because it, it just it errored out. But if I were to play another song right now, like, um, well, let, let, let's pick one. Let's just pick some Busta Rhymes. Busta. Busta. What it is right now. There we go. So I want to play this song, but you're not going to be able to hear it. You're not going to be able to hear it. Here we go. Oh, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? You can't hear it. Good. Good, 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 good. You hear it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right. So play, play for five seconds. We hit stop. Now we're going to go back to StreamerBot, and then you're going to notice that inside of the variables, it should have been updated to show that the now playing artist is Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes is not on the list of restricted artists. So it didn't stop playing. That's how awesome this thing is. I also created a variable variable here called band artist. Now this whole band artist list, this is just taking from the, I, I, I took this directly from Twitch. So if they update their restricted artist list, this is where you have to update it. Now we may want to reference a text file in the future. We'll see how many people actually use this and, and want to try it out, but th th that is what has to happen. So all of these are here. I basically put them all on a list. So it's going to do a compare against everything inside of this list. Now, one thing you're going to notice that I did have to do because, you know, it's computers and sometimes they just read things verbatim exactly as they are. So for Jay-Z, Jay-Z is written a couple different ways. So if you want to make sure that Jay-Z is not played, because I, I like to play a good bit of Jay-Z. He's one of my favorite artists. Uh, there's J-Z and then I had to put J-Z. So if you were doing something with John Lennon and John Lennon was written differently, it, it's just strictly going off of what is written. Now, alternatively, if you had a so James Taylor is not, not is restricted. If you had an artist called the James Taylor Band, guess what? It's going to show up and it's going to stop playing. So there are some quirks right there. Maybe you need to do an approved artist or or or, or tailor it to your needs. But that's just is exactly what it's doing. It's going to look against that, and we're going to get into that right now. Item number two, perform check on current artist. What we're doing here is any time the global variable that I just showed you of now playing artist changes, it's going to go in here, and it's going to run this. So on here, we're going to get the global band artist, and we're going to, we're going to get the arguments. We're going to set the arguments of the now playing artist, and then there is an if-then statement. So right in here, it's going to say if the band artist contains the now playing artist, we're going to perform the action. So right here, I have number three, action to perform if a restricted artist is playing. And it's going to run it immediately and then break everything else. If it's not detected, it's just going to keep going. It's just going to keep going, baby. Keep it smooth. Keep it going. Keep the party vibes flowing. That's what I'm saying. So what I have now here is I have action to perform restricted artists to detect it. And it is going to go one of these things. Right now, I'm saying to pause. And then I want it to unload. That, that's what I wanted to do. Now, what you also could do, you could do a whole bunch of different things right here. You could, if I were to, um, let's just say disable this one for now. Disable, enable, disabled. Now, if I go into here and I say, we're going to make it perform a, a, deck sp uh, a backspin. Script, deck active, and I'm going to say backspin. Okay? So we say, okay. So now that's saved. That's good to go. If I were to play, let's see, who do we have on here right now? I, I, we'll, we'll go back to, get back to Ed Sheeran. All right, Ed Sheeran, if you're watching... Why are you restricting your music, bro? People need people need to hear bad habits. They need to hear it, man. I got the shivers. I'm going to play shivers right now. So what happened is it's going to recognize that shivers is playing, and then it is going to do a backspin. It's going to recognize that Ed Sheeran is going, and it's going to – and there you go. No hands. It automatically recognized it, and it did the back. So th there you have it. That That is how this all is going to work. Now – once you download the file, I'm going to show you how to install it into StreamerBot, so that way it's, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. In order to do that, Gasp, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete all three actions. Oh, no, they're gone. It doesn't work anymore. Uh, very, very simple to do. So you've got your file downloaded. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Import. Okay, Import. So once you open the file, um, it's going to be a whole bunch of gargly goop, and that gargly goop is going to look just like this you can open it up in a notepad if your computer asks you open it up in a notepad and this is what it looks like right here so i'm going to just copy all of this i'm going to go into streamer bot inside import string i'm just going to paste it right there and you'll notice everything that i just had came right back on up i say import and uh there are one items that will be overwritten with this import zero time to action yeah because i already had it in there so there you go it's overwriting it now everything that i just told you about and taught you is here and free for the taking. So 
What do I want from you? I don't want a gosh darn thing. I just want you guys to enjoy this. I, I want to know what else you want to know. Uh, there's a lot of things that I know about Virtual DJ, OBS Studio, a little bit about streamer bots, still learning it, but a whole bunch of cool tricks. I'd love for you to join me on my live streams over on Twitch. I'd love you to like this video and leave a comment. Those are the things that I'm, I, I want from you. That, that, they're very simple. They're all free. Just be a part of the community. In fact, the community is so awesome, I'm going to say with my big face still on the screen, if you guys want to join my Discord, HTTPS colon slash slash Discord slash DJ Lefave. Wait, no. Discord dot GG slash DJ Lefave. There's this thing right here called the Tech Forum. If you guys have any questions that are relating to virtual DJ, you want tips and tricks, tutorials, anything you want to share, that's the place to do it. So keep on mixing. Keep on vibing. I'll see you around.